everybody. Uh, welcome back. Got a journal to share with you guys. This is a design team project for Tracy's kit, um, Nature's Ephemera. Love this. Love, love, love it. I am so delighted with how um, it all came together. It's There's a little bit of a story. Um, if you watched my video a while back, I, did, I purchased a journal from Frosted Bramble, um, and she was so sweet. She sent me um, some beautiful fabric. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Um, got the kit from Tracy, got it all printed out, and then I came to do my um, cover. You know, before I, I put everything together, I kind of like to do my cover, and then I go, you know, back into doing the signatures. So, um, so this is how this came about. This was a piece of fabric um, that was gifted to me, and I just knew it had to go on this journal, and then I just worked with it. I cut it out, stitched it on top of um, a crocheted, um, it's like a tablecloth, and I just dissected that, <laughs> put that over some cotton, I've got batting on it, uh, stitched around all of that, and then I came back and did some uh, stamping here, and I mean in some areas, there's about eight layers on that cover. Um, the book has been hand painted, it's got some Ah, uh, gosh, I'm trying to... Th the color is, is like a pomegranate, and then it's got some gold that I've come back. So it's all been hand-painted, and then this has all been collaged and, and stitched together, and then attached to the cover. So um, the closure is Sorry Silk, three signature. Uh, it's a big, big journal. This is crammed full, and uh, let's just get started, guys. I've got to get... Um, Get going on this one because I think it's going to take me a while to show you. I've I've done a lot on this journal. This is um, this is Tracy's um, Nature's Ephemera beautiful kit, and then I did some of Tim Holtz papers because that coordinated nicely. Um, I've got some of other um, a few pieces from other things from my stash. Uh, some of Tracy's faux ephemera has been included in here and this is a part of that faux ephemera. I love that kit. It's so useful. I highly recommend uh, you guys check that out. Here is um, one of the little envelopes and this is one of the tiny embellishments. Um, Tracy's got a kit for that. Those are very, very useful. Um, I've been playing around with those this week on embellishments and they are perfect for small embellishments, altered paper clips. Um, so I put that on there like it's a wax seal. This is one of the um, envelopes from the kit. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of her wildflower and then she's got this, the earth laughs and flowers. She's got the little um, quotes that you can, it prints out. It's, it's nice because it's in the typewriter font, which I love. Um, so, beautiful. Uh, back to the papers here, because we all know about my problem with my printer. We won't go into that anymore. <laughs> Some fabric tab here. <clears throat> this is another Tracy's kit. So I'll try to include a link for every kit. I just, I'm going to have to make sure I, I do that because I've got quite a few. Uh, from Tracy's shop. Now this is um, just out of my stash, so I've included in every signature I've got one of my music sheet pockets. I've uh, done some fabric, um, sorry that's going to bug me, some fabric pockets and then I've layered them with some more of uh, Tracy's stuff there. Here I created a um, envelope out of a book page and then I did some stamping on some paper um, cotton and then I backed it with some more fabric and then attached another one of the it says I must have flowers always and always that's another thing I would do if I was mega wealthy I'd have fresh flowers every day in every room in my house 
I know it's extravagant, but oh, it would be nice. Love that. That's one of the pages, and I've just made a little flip out. I've backed it with some more tea dyed paper. I don't think there's anything white in this. I think everything has been um, printed or tea dyed. Um, this one I have included one of my <clears throat> ephemera bundles. bundles. Um, it's back here, but this was out of it, so I'll just show you. Um, this is what I'm talking about with the tiny embellishments. Look at what you can do. Isn't that adorable? So that's a little paper clip that I altered. And then this is, um, I've included this. This has just got various things. I'm not going to pull everything out, guys. Um, this was in my shop. I had one left over, and I just thought it was perfect to to add to this. So it's it's just packed full of items that you can use in this journal or another one. Um, and like I said, I've done, um, this is some really vintage um, trim and I've backed it with some lace so I've done the tabs throughout the journal. Look at that page. Isn't that fabulous? Here is another pocket from the journal. Uh oh. Looks like that one might have. Yeah, it's good. Um, this is one of the tags and this is a Tracy Fox tag but it's in a, from a different kit. But everything coordinated so perfectly. I just had to include it. Just a, another um, di digital image I got from, that's not from part of the qu uh, kit. Uh, it's just in my stash. Um, some more various um, things for you to journal on. Another one of these beautiful little envelopes. I love those. Here I've done a, um, sorry, just a second here, let me get something. This is a tuck spot. So you've got both of those. You can tuck some items in. Lots of little flips for you to write on. Um, I've included in every signature, um, this is a paper bag um, pocket. So you've got one, two, three pockets there. And then I did some collaging. Uh, this is um, avocado dyed paper here. A lot went into this, as you can see. Um, it, this is, uh, like I said, I've been kind of working on things, you know, in stages um, for a while because it all takes time. Um, this is another one of the faux ephemera pieces. I love that. And then I made a belly band here and just tucked that so you could, you know, go all the way through if you want. I just got it there. Here is another one of the music sheet pockets. And I just include um, another journal card from my stash. Did some more stamping in this one. Here's a little tuck spot. Another journal card. Look at those papers. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, here I've done a, um, it's an, another altered paper clip using those tiny embellishments. I think that is so sweet. Um, this is part of her faux ephemera. And then I've just um, altered one of the CD cases so that you got. I did some stitching on that, stamping, and then I did some uh, fussy cutting uh, from some of Tracy's um, sayings there. And another pocket here with another journal card. This is part of the kit. So I've attached that to the front of that. And here is um, a couple more journaling cards. 
And then this is one of the Regency Fold um, papers. I haven't done one of these for a while. I don't know why. <clears throat> but I like these. I don't know. There's something about them. They're just... You can imagine when you're in school. Oh, if only I would have known how to have done these. I don't even know if I can remember how to do those little folds. You know, when you were in um, elementary school, you used to do all those little folds and write stuff to your friend. And you'd try to pass it across before the teacher would see you. Here's another belly band. Um... That's another page from the kit. Beautiful. And then this is another um, one of the book, uh, lunch lunch bag uh, pockets. So like I said, you got one, two, three pockets there that you can fill. That's one of the um, tags from the kit. Love those. And this is part of the faux ephemera. Those are awesome, awesome kits, guys. Um, particularly if you're in the UK and you struggle to get um, the things that are pretty easy to pick up in the US, like your gas checks and um, the flash cards. I mean, I'll be honest, I was over there and I couldn't even find the vintage fast, uh, flash cards. So I love the fact that Tracy's come out with those because um, <clears throat> whenever I need them, I can just print them out. So it's, it's just perfect. I love that. Um, here I, this is one of the pages, and then I backed it with um, mu uh, piano paper. If you guys have seen me on Instagram, let me just get it and show you guys, because I posted on Instagram. I've got eight of these guys, and wow, are they full of paper. So be watching, because... Um, I'm in the process of taking these off, and I'm trying to do some uh, paper assortments to add to my shop. I just haven't gotten around to doing it, but I'll show you. This is one of the little stashes I put, I've set to the side for myself to use, and uh, the color is absolutely gorgeous. It's It's got a nice aged color to it. Um, and like I said, there will be... Um, They'll be pretty big bundles, and the shipping shouldn't be too bad on them. I'm just waiting till I go to this flea market. i got a flea market coming up at the end of April, and the reason I've held off on, on listing those is because if I find some really unique items out at this flea market, I'll combine it and try to do a nice little bundle for you guys because I know that the shipping from the U.K. over um, to the U.S. and other parts of the world it's tricky for me because I've got to make it worthwhile for you guys to feel as though you know you're getting good value for your money but on the other hand it is what it is to ship you know and I can't I, I have no say over that so that's the reason that hasn't gone into my shop yet but uh, be watching because no later than um, the beginning of May that should be out here I've done some collaging with some little um, old lace I've got. This is one of Tracy's images and then some little scrappy fabrics that I've got in my stash. This bingo card is included in the Nature's Ephemera kit. <clears throat> and this is just um, another tag from my stash. Um, some more avocado uh, dyed paper. I've put a piece of that in every signature on this. Um, stamping. This is a piece of the paper from the kit. And that's the center of the signature. Got a lot of writing space, but there's still, um, there's a tuck spot here and a, and a flip out. But there's still a lot of ephemera in this for you to use in this journal or another one. So, um, here I've got another double pocket, and then I've done this little stamped in. I love that stamped image, and that's from that free stamp set with that, um, I think it's creative stamping. I should know it. So many people have asked me that, but you guys know my brain. Ooh, it doesn't hold this information anymore. Uh, but I love that stamp. That is, it, it was worth it just for that stamp. 
I don't generally buy those magazines that have the free stamps because I find usually they're kind of crappy stamps, but that was a really nice one. And I think it was Susie McGuire that posted that in um, created, um, Sophie's Notes on Facebook. And the minute I saw that, I was like, oh, I think that's a UK magazine. Let me go check that out. And sure enough, I was able to go online and, and pick it up. I don't, I don't know if it was a past issue, but I couldn't find it in the store, so I was like, oh, heck, i got to find that online. I did, so I was happy about that. <laughs> Here is another um, pocket, and this is from my stash. If you guys wonder, um, I, t I don't like to... Um, when I'm doing a design team project, um, my ladies are really, really good about, you know, they're, they're okay as long as the majority of the, the um, project is, is their product. But I don't feel that it's fair to, to who I'm representing to, to mention other people. Um, so that's why I'm a little bit protective on, you know, when people ask me, you know, I, I will in the listing try to answer anybody's questions, but when I'm doing it for Tracy, I don't want to mention other shops because I don't think it's it's fair to do that. So if, if you guys are wondering, oh, why doesn't she tell me where she gets that from? And sometimes I've forgotten. Um, that's just the truth. Sometimes I cannot remember, but if it's anybody that I work with a lot, I'll, I'll generally know. So if you got any questions, you know, I will try to answer them below, but you know, this is why I do my design team projects the way I do, because I, I just feel like um, these ladies are so generous to let us work with their things. Um, it, it's the right thing to do, I think, for me. That's just how I feel about it. That's not a criticism on anybody else in any way. This is a uh, Tracy. Um, I don't recall the name of this kit, but it will be listed below so you guys can check her out because she's got some really, really nice things in her shop. And uh, here's another little tuck spot. Is the last, um, no, that's the first pocket in this one. And these are just various um, tags from my stash. So you can see there is a lot of ephemera in this. Um, Tracy's kit is big. It's the, the Nature's Ephemera is a very, very big kit. You, she's very generous in, with the papers that go into it um, and the ephemera. This is another one of the little altered paper clips using her tiny embellishment kit. I think it's just an essential kit for anybody because I've not seen anybody else doing the tiny ones. Um, and that's not to say I don't know, but I, I just love them. They are, you, you just get a lot of use out of them. You really, really will. If, you, if you're into collaging, um, here I've done a little, it's like a mini Rolodex card. And I just, it's, I got a little pocket there. And then this is just a floating tag that I've pinned in with the um, paper clip there. And here's another fabric pocket. And another little journal card. And this is another one of the envelopes. Tracy sells these in her shop. Um, it's got some music sheet. I recently got those. Um, and I've tea dyed them. And I'm really happy with those. I'm going to have to get some more of that because it's nice and sturdy paper. Um, I don't struggle as much when I'm doing the tea dyeing. Another piece of the avocado dyed. Love that. That's It's come out really unusual pattern this time. Another tab, to, uh, fabric tab. And then here I've done another little um, collage tag. And then this is Tracy's. I love that. Just gorgeous. Okay, here is the um, ephemera 
bundle that I had listed and I've just included that with this journal because it was the last one in the shop and as you guys know I've been trying to close out my Etsy shop so I did unfortunately have a couple of items that didn't sell and this was one of them and I don't know why um, but it's got the Tim Holt metal plate and it's packed. It's got a glass scene. I won't pull it all out because <coughs> You guys, if, if you've been watching me, you know what all's in here. There, I a lot of work in this, guys. This was a tea bag that's been altered into a pocket so that you can put it in a journal. All you got to do is glue that down and then just various things. And I just thought it, it had to go with this because it, it matched it perfectly. So all I did, I've just laid it over a page in here. I haven't clipped it um, because it was... It's kind of bulky, and I found it was just making the paper clip just keep slipping off. So you can take this out when you receive the journal. Another little flip out using one of the pages from the kit. Here's another tuck spot, and that's the avocado uh, skin um, avocado dyed paper. Um, this is the paper bag pocket so you got two pockets up here and then this pocket and that's another one of the bingo cards from the kit and one of Tracy's butterfly tags and a small tag there did some collaging here and these came in the kit and I've just adhered those down so it's not a tuck spot I just wanted it for the, the look of it on that page Here's another tuck spot. It's a big, big journal, guys. It's, um, I've got, there's so many tuck spots and pockets, and like I said, the ephemera, I've, I've tried to put in as much as I could. Here is, um, a tag that I've attached, this tiny tag from, um, uh, that's part of her faux ephemera kit, I'm sure. And then it's got another um, little envelope. Love those. And then this is the back. I've included a another coin envelope. There's nothing in it, but I just wanted to put that in. And then this is a um, tag from the kit. And then there's another saying down there, a flower blossoms for its own joy. Ah, oh, look at it. It's huge. Yeah, this one's, it's big, but I am really, really pleased with how it's come out. Um, this is going to be in my shop. By the time this video is up, this will be in there listed. So if you guys got any questions, um, just let me know. And I appreciate you so much stopping by. If you would give this a thumbs up and hit the bell and you'll be notified for any future um, videos. Take care everybody. Bye.